Lost River Cave is a 70-acre park in the heart of Bowling Green with trails, wetlands, meadows, and a restored prairie. We're going to rip it out and we're going to take it to that big pile that you see over there. The natural landmark is dependent on volunteers who help maintain the park, like Anna Sweets. The South Warren High School senior started a 4-H environmental club after attending last year's Kentucky 4-H Teen Conference. We volunteer a lot at Lost River Cave because it's such a great um, ecosystem here, right here close to us. So we volunteered with the Volunteer Invasive Plant Pro Program, which is what we're here doing today. Sweets has attended 4-H Teen Conference the past three years. So your parents probably have tips on how to do that. But she came home last year and told Warren County 4-H agent Janet Turley she wanted to start an environmental club. That was music to Turley's ears. This is one of my proud moments as a 4-H agent is, is, you know, you're always trying to, to um, increase the leadership skills of your 4-H members. And so she's been thinking about this idea as, as being wanting to have an environmental club. And so um, I told her, I said, you know what, why don't you be a club leader and see where you go with it. Where Sweets and the environmental club have gone with it is here at Lost River Cave, volunteering to help remove winter creeper an invasive plant that has set up shop in the park and isn't welcome. But the best thing to do for the volunteers is to target one thing and that way we can focus on one thing and figure, you know, really see the benefits at pulling this one thing out and of course uh, working together on it. It's, it's really simple. The idea is just to be outside, you know, and to remove this uh, one plant. It is really the one that takes over quite a bit too. Besides helping eradicate invasives, the environmental club volunteers for other events in the park. Sweets is interested in the environment and the ecosystem and plans to follow that path in college at Western Kentucky University this fall. I hope to stay involved with the environment and ecosystems, at least volunteering, if not with a career in it. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.